it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood a beautiful day for shopping would you be mine could you be mine headphones i don't even know where my headphones are y you need headphones the teacher said you need headphones Go get my headphones hanging from uh, my computer stand. Disconnect it from the controller. Hurry up! Walk faster! Don't leave the door open! Oh my gosh! Are all teenagers like this? Good morning. Headphones. Check. A USB stick. Check. Snacks. Check. Math book. Check. Good morning. I'm not very awake today. Yeah, obviously. That's because you went to bed at like 1 o'clock in the morning. From now on, your your pad is taken away at 10 o'clock at night. Two hours later. Kaden! How was technology class? We, we had to do a slides. <laughs> we had to do one. I don't know if I say it. You had to do more typing and had to do uh and had to do us uh, had to practice doing slides. Slides? Yeah, I like those computer slides. You like um um like editing pictures and doing slideshows kind of thing? Sort of like that. Kind of? Okay, cool. I expect Hayden to be the next Steve Jobs. Yeah. That's funny. He's going to come up with some sort of invention, and I speak that into his life every day. The next Steve Jobs. I mean, he's that intelligent with technology, so pretty soon he's going to surpass me up, and and uh, and I'm going to be worried. <laughs> All right, I got groceries in the car. Let's go home. Uh. Mom, what are you doing? Well, our freezer's broken, so I'm cleaning it out, and I need to find out why it's broken. So, a good thing we have a deep freezer in the garage. We're going to put everything in the deep freezer, but uh, I can't figure out why our this freezer is not freezing up, so it's probably blocked in the back up here. Yay! Look at all this stuff I just pulled out, and all the groceries I have to put away. The next day. It's a Saturday. We realized that our food in our fridge are starting to spoil and we don't want that because I just went grocery shopping. That would have been a whole bunch of waste of money. So Ronnie is on the floor looking at all the crap that's coming out of the bottom of the filter of the fridge. Yes. That's the number that's the first thing that we're looking at to see if that's part of the reason. The clogged the filter is. The filter's clogged. That's disgusting. You turn on the vacuum. Shadow out. Go. I need the small, where's the, all the connections that go on there? I have no Shut idea. That off. Shut that off. So I give you a vacuum, and I put extensions on there. And there's no extensions. Where are they at? I have no idea. I give you a vacuum with extensions. I don't know. I honestly don't know where they're I at. They're a, probably in one of the totes over I there. I need a crevice tool. That's why they, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. See this? And that, that's the home. You smarty pants. Do you want to get smacked in the mouth? Oh, you want to take advantage of me while I'm laying on the ground? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I need to grab this. Shadow, go out. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I found this and this. Fur brushes. This is our closet. Welcome to our organized, unorganized closet. That's what we're trying to do, at least. I take it you found it. I found the fur brushes. We don't know if this will work unless uh, it starts getting cold. Does the filter make the refrigerator not cool? Well, how can it cool it if it's clogged? Just like that's what I'm asking. A filter makes it not cool. If it's clogged. Yeah, it yes. Okay. Because the freezer's working now. It's that time of year. Almost. It's that time of year. We are contemplating a plan on what we want to do when it starts storming during a Christmas season, the holiday season. 
And so I told Ronnie we need to set up, yes, we have another canopy. If you guys have been here from last season, the snow damaged our first canopy we were using. So I was thinking of putting a canopy right here at this fence, right here, and then putting all the Christmas up. I mean, this is not bad. We just need to kind of weed eat. And putting all the Christmas up here underneath the canopy in case it does start storming. It doesn't flood back here, right? Because the hill's kind of going downwards. So I think this will be a good area to put all our Christmas stuff. So we, we, we're going to start putting totes of our Christmas stuff all up against this fence with a canopy over. Maybe even grabbing a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, what do you call that? Piece of plastic. What do you call it? Tarp. And going from the roof down to the fence? I don't know. I don't know. Also. But we're just talking about the stuff that is really important that we don't want to get really wet yet. Well, just an FYI, when we made the move from our house to this house, a lot, thousands of dollars worth thousands. of Christmas stuff got damaged because, because a lot of totes had cracks in it, water filled up and rusted a lot of things that were no longer usable. So we lost a lot of Christmas, on, so we're trying to take the extra precautions when we bring it out. So got all the Christmas stuff in there. That's a lot of stuff. And a lot of work to do, I must admit. Yep, we're going to be taking all this out here within the next month. Okay, let's close it. Okay, so it's been like an hour. Over an hour. The moment of truth to see if what we did fixed the fridge. Yes. No. No? It's a little colder, but it's not cold enough. Food is going to spoil. It's not... We're not going to end up having to buy a new fridge. I don't know where we're going to come up with our finances for that. Well, maybe we, there's a used one. Get to work. Yeah, I'll have to look on Facebook and see if somebody has a refrigerator for sale. <laughs> so we've got Pepe with us. Hi, Pepe. <laughs> what are we doing now, Ronnie? Getting gas because I don't have enough gas to make it. No, 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 no. What are we doing? Going to get a fridge, I guess, out in them boondocks. We're going to the boondocks to get a refrigerator. I happened to post on Facebook that our fridge broke. And a friend of ours, Jenny, who goes to the same church as us, uh, says, oh, I have an extra one that's just sitting outside on the porch. Would you like to borrow it for a while? And I said, yes, totally, until we can afford our own. So that's what we're doing right now. We are going to go get a fridge. And Ronnie has no gas, so he's got to get gas. Ready, Kaden? Gas, 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 everybody! Gas, 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 everybody! Welcome, welcome, on, Squidgy! Yeah, we did it. All right, this is the fridge, you guys. This is the fridge. Show it, Kaden. This is the fridge. So, they're not home, just her teen son is home. After a minor clean down, it looks brand new. This is our new fridge. All the drawers are here. I'm still kind of bleaching them and washing them out, but 80% done. So I'm gonna have Ronnie towel this down and we'll turn it on, bring it in the house and turn it on. And then uh, we will switch the food over. This is the freezer. We got the freezer at the bottom this time. So nothing little bleach scrub down won't fix.
treat is done. And what is this? How did this get in there? A leaf? It is done. It is done. Bottom freezer. It looks like a brand new fridge. I scrubbed this thing down. Um, what are you doing, Cat? Looks like he's got his own cape. What are you doing? Oh, really? So it's like 2.30 in the morning and I just got done twitching, playing games on Twitch at 2.30 in the morning. I'm so tired. Anyhow, they, um, the game had a big boss I was trying to fight and it's very difficult and I'm like, never mind, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I'm too tired. I went to go take a break and get something to eat and unfortunately the whole refrigerator door dropped and hit my toe. My toe's not bruised or anything but I was lucky that somehow I moved my toe just in time. I was like hit and I like moved it like fast reaction. So anyway, um, everybody's in bed. It's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning and I'm just going to close out from here. So I want to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Help us reach 50,000. We are so close to 50,000. Make sure you share our videos. Subscribe if you haven't yet and press the notification bell down below and we'll see you guys all for another vlog. Love you guys so, so much. Ciao, bye.